This exclusive message at Expona is brought to you by Alto Audio. Welcome. We are at Expona, premiering our new state-of-the-art electronics and speakers. I'm Michael Levy of Alta Audio, and I will introduce you to the new Aphrodite speakers, our state-of-the-art model. Our new Aphrodite at $50,000 a pair is a state-of-the-art product, showing advancements in technology that have brought them to a level that is astonishing. Our new tweeter, provided to us by Rahl, specifically designed to our specifications, is made so that it does not need any resistors in lines. So the efficiency matches perfectly. The net effect is that you have a greater connection, more direct connection to the amplifier. Now this tweeter has an amorphous core transformer and magnet assembly that is so powerful that when we ship them, we provide them with a magnet cover over the tweeters because if any metal gets too close, it will suck it right in. So uh, that though, that power creates an incredible detail, clarity, and dynamic. The tweeter is truly state of the art. The Aphrodite was based on our prior design, the Hestia, but was such an advancement that we gave it a new name. And part of the advancement is in the mid-ranges. The mid-ranges are now true diapolito and dipole. They use carbon hex uh, cones that are very light, very stiff, and very fast. And the titanium formers on the 3.1 inch voice coils make them so clean in their dynamics that they melt smoothly into the ribbon tweeter. The Aphrodite incorporates a new product, a mid-bass coupler that aligns our XTL bass subwoofer to the mid-ranges. It also has a 3.1 inch voice coil. It also is titanium former and uses the same hex carbon uh, formulation in the cone. It melds so well between them that you get a unified pulse throughout the frequency range. Although the subwoofer looks like an ordinary tuned port, it is not. It is an XTL based design, which is a hybrid of transmission line and port. I noted when I was studying speaker design and spoke to the scientists Neville Teal and Richard Small, who had written the foundational papers on it, that tuned ports lose uh, the coupling of the woofer below their resonance. And you've seen this in the past, where woofer is flopping in the wind and not creating any sound. XTL base solved that problem by at that point crossing over into a transmission line and continuing to couple the woofer well into the infrasonic. The net effect is a sound that does not have a hint of it being from a speaker, but instead sounds like the original performance itself. XTL base is so unique that in February, the US Patent Office awarded us a patent on it. And lastly, technically, the crossover itself, which is hand-wired, does not use a board, uses deoxygenated copper silver-coated cable with Teflon insulation that is, uses variable density so that no resonant frequency predominates. Uh, my people love building them because it is a work of art. We are so happy to have been here at Expona. Love having people come in and get a true evaluation of what we're doing. Our purpose is to bring the music home and let you hear performances you never could have been at as if you were there.